Hello everybody, welcome to episode 40 of the Tamagotchi Connection series here. And as you probably noticed, we redid the setup for the background. So as you can see, we are at one, besides the different angles and stuff like that, I did actually move some stuff around. I'll probably move it around again, because, I don't know, kind of mixed on how I want to do this little area here. Might move the beat em on uh, over, because I like having the uh, cobalt line around. And I think these crush gears take up a bit of space. I don't know, had to figure it out. But we did put a monkey ball right there, so it's I I I don't know. Excited about all the random stuff to be honest. Got a, just changed up things. We added some Tamagotchi and Digimon boxes in the background now, so you can see a little bit more of the inspirations going around and things like that. At most, like I said, I'll probably just move the crush gears to this side, because these kind of are long and stretched out and I don't know I feel like it'd be better to move them over there so those guys will probably be moved over to that side but let's get to the Tamas to the, of the day so we did evolve we are now this weird little apple state and there we go got the nice little thing a little cool little dude here pretty simple pretty easy and then on the other device we got another apple yeah we actually got two apples so let's try doing some little connection things here. I'm trying to get used to like this weird setup. I'm like, ah. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, we got a mini game finally. I wasn't expecting this. Let's see. What did we get? They settled on 20 bucks. What's going on? One of them get, got more money out of it. That is actually kind of funny. And these devices, I don't think it matters as much, because in the, what is it? With the connections, you can actually, like, deposit, like, in the Japanese versions of these things, you can actually deposit the money into a different device. Which is kind of crazy to me to think about that. Okay, is it, uh, Apple guy. Oh look! The apple! The sprites came over. That's awesome. I like that. That's awesome. I was hoping that would happen at some point. They're the same creature, so I guess it's not that shocking, but still. It's another little butt. Oh yeah. They enjoy their little butts. I thought the butt walked for a second there. They're very confused about the butts though. I don't... I, I'd be the same to be honest. But we have been doing pretty well on these devices, I'd say so myself. I did have to swap out batteries earlier, and so I found out that these do go by like a whole checkpoint system or whatever. So like when they evolved, it went back to like right when they evolved or whatever. Which is kind of interesting to think about that. Which meant a lot of the, I, th I think a lot of the stuff I did today didn't count or whatever, so that's kind of a pain. But to be honest, I didn't do much today. Like I missed out on the shopkeeper and stuff like that, so... I guess it makes sense that it just went back to the whatever time slot. Because I didn't do much. The, today was a busy day. A very, very busy day. I just love the little bad dudes. It's weird to see, like, having the same Tamagotchi on sa both sides of the device. So you can see, like, all the little differences with, like, the red sprite and the black sprite. I really love the, like, red pixels. It's nice having this, like, setup now where... I can actually like see everything, like all the details and stuff like that. I did learn some things about the mini games. So, the poop mini game uh, or whatever, that one I think lowers your um, what was it? That one lowers down like the mental stuff, I think. Or it's physical. Ooh, no, I think that one's mental. Yeah. So, this one lowers down your mental stuff, and then the other one down here lowers down your. Uh, physical. So you just have to get over like 20 points to, I guess, get rid of like care mistakes and stuff like that. Which is great, because this is a stupidly hard mini game. I've... it's just annoyingly hard. I don't know. I don't like it. It's a very pain in the butt game. <laughs> like, it's, an, it's a cool idea as a concept, but like... I feel like the timing and like the hitbox is very off. So like, let's see if I hit it from there. Will it actually go one that time? 
No, because see, it goes. Oh, see that time it went through. It's like the timing and hitboxes are very weird. Okay, I think I actually got the timing down. Whoa, let's see, we actually got the timing down now. Let's see, did we overshoot it? I don't feel like you could go too early. Maybe you can. I don't know. Let's see, we'll find out. Let's see. Can you overshoot it? I don't think you can overshoot it. So you just have to press immediately. Okay, no, you can't overshoot it. It's just the timing window to overshoot it is just incredibly small. You'd have to get over like 20 gachi points, I think they said, to get rid of, a, what was it, the camera mistake. So, good reminder there. And then for this one, you have to get over, I think, what was it, you have to get 60 gachi points. Which, to be honest, I'd be fine with. This is like one of my favorite mini games to play with. I know, something about this mini game is so addictive in a way. Though I play Atari games a lot, so that's probably why it is that way. I'm a very big proponent of like these little type of mini games. I feel like it'd be very interesting if they ever did like a crossover, like a Bandai and Atari crossover. Like you could use a bunch of like old Atari twenty six hundred games or whatever to like have the little mini games or something like that. I would totally sign up for a thing like that. Oh, I messed up. But there you go. Pretty much the same type of mini games on these type of things. Let's get some money back for the other device, because we lost 40 bucks on the other one. And we need to save up some of that money for the whatever, dude. I need to still discipline them and stuff like that, but to be honest, they're... A lot further back behind now than what they were originally that I had them at. So that's kind of a pain. Because if you remember this one, we kept the original battery inside it. And that kind of got gets it. Though when I found out it uh, gets rid or goes back to the original save state, I just took out the battery in the other one. Because I was like, I might as well put them back both at the same point. Especially in terms of, like, evolution timers and stuff like that. Like, I'd like them to be very similar. I know that's a bit weird to say, but, like, that's where I probably would prefer them at. Woo! Dang it. I messed up at the very end. No! There you go, got 50 bucks out of that one. That's like still one of my favorite mini games. And of course, on this side, it's the same thing as the other mini game with the uh, mailbox, but instead, it's a little basketball. Which, very easy. I think I prefer the basketball aesthetic in a way, because, I don't know, it just, I think it just matches a bit better. I feel like all you have to do is just match it up with the hoop as well, so you just have to waiting for it to just, whoop, match it up. Oh, I messed up. Not my favorite minigame. I do prefer it a bit more than some of the other ones, though, that I've played throughout some of these devices. And then, of course, we got another gambling little minigame here, which shows all the little dudes. We'll pick our boy, because our boy's the best. So let's go! And this one's just running, uh, compared to the other one, which is, like, swimming. So it's, like, very... This reminds me of, like, the Chow Garden, in a way, because, like, of how it's, like, designed. I don't know, it just very much reminds me of the Chow Garden in that way, and it's like, ooh! We believed in our boy! Our boy was the best. But yeah, it just reminds me of the Chow Garden with some of its mini games. It's like, yeah, that's what it reminds me of, like, personally. It's like, I look at it and I'm like, that's what it is. 
which ooh would make sense. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I have Tama mail. I forgot to show off. So let's talk about some Tama mail I got because I forgot to show this off in the last episode, but got this in yesterday, and it is a Osu and a Mesu. So as you see here, it is a pretty nice condition. I might have to do a little bit of poly watch right there, which is fine. Or I just have to clean the screen. I think I just have to clean the screen to be honest. Kind of looks like I just have to clean it a bit. And then on the other side, this one's pretty good and perfect. But to be honest, they are both very well nicely designed. Love the backgrounds on these devices. I don't know what it is. I like the whole room aesthetic. So the Osu and Mesu, they work... They're sort of like, a, I would say, an earlier version of the connection concept in a way. Where instead of using IR, it uses little prongs. If you are a Digimon fan, you've probably seen these prongs many, many times. Because this is how Digimon usually connect. These don't connect to Digimon, by the way, because Digimon prongs are up and down instead of, like, spaced out like this. So, it is, you can just connect them together. And pretty much it just works like that. Take both of them, connect, and bam. Pretty simple. And then they have nice little coverings for the prongs, which I wish Digimon did this. I kind of like this concept. Having nice little prong covers. Because it's a nice little thing. We'll run these at some point. It's one of those random devices I'll get to eventually. I picked this up from a Discord user called Moo. Which they were super nice and awesome and shipped super quickly. I don't know if that matters of me mentioning them or not. But if they ever watch this video, they did a really awesome job on packaging them and everything. And they got to me very quickly. I was kind of shocked because, like, I bought it the day before, and they were, and it came the next day. I was like, "Whoa, like that's insane!" But I bought those off the what was it the Tamagotchi Discord. So I don't know if that pertains to just the rules of it. I haven't really bought too much off the Discord uh, buy and sell thing. Pretty awesome though, and has a really good community and everything. I love the Tamagotchi Discord. Love the multiple ones I'm actually on. They're all really nice and really cool. It's really cool to see like how the community's like grown and stuff like that over the years. Because I remember being on some really older servers and those kind of being a mixed bag in places. But the nowadays like the modern versions of like those Tamagotchi servers are so just so nice and warm and fuzzy. I don't know. It's a weird thing to think about. I don't know if that's the right wording. I know, they're just really awesome people, and they're super nice and helpful. It's really cool to uh, have, like, all those type of things. But there we go, we got both the Tomas there. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode. We've done pretty much whatever. Uh, would have shown off the old man stuff, but in a technicality, he hasn't come yet, because I haven't set the time back to whatever it was, because I was just like, eh, I'm up for a little bit. I'm just going to enjoy the Tomas for a bit. Get some of their stuff back up or whatever. Enjoy the nice, cool parts of these devices. I don't know. Ooh, we should see if they could drink wine yet. Uh, can you drink the uh, alcohol? Let's see. Can you drink? Oh my god, he can drink. Oh, he's an alcoholic now. Oh, I can make him alcoholics. This is amazing. This is actually funny. Oh, my, y'all are probably thinking, like, what do you mean by this? So there is actual, like, alcohol on these, like, their snack options, which is just so funny to me, that the idea that my little Tamagotchi over here with a wine glass drinking and sipping some wine, like, that's just really funny to me. On this one, it's sake, so, like, it's, what is it, uh, the big bottle with, like, the little shot glass type thing or whatever. I don't know if that's the right way of explaining it. I'm sorry if I really got that wrong, if the tools and stuff like that. But it's like a bottle and little cups. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I really don't... Like, I, I'd love to learn more about Japanese culture. But there we go. That's pretty much it for these little episodes. So, before we end off, let's end off with a nice little glass of wine. And... Wait, what is this? He burped! What is a man? I'm kidding. I don't know. Hope people, hopefully people enjoy that Castlevania reference. 
But that's all for it now. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Bye!